And uh, I saw, oh, oh, there we go. Now, okay. now you can see. Now you can. Yeah, perfect. Okay, great. Sorry, I just had to double click. Um, okay. So, um, first, I'd just like to introduce a little bit about the, the company itself, because although the company is quite new, um, the company was formed in 2015 and they released the Cosmos system just last year in 2020. It, the, it was founded by Kevin Goodwin, who was the founder of Sonosite 20 years ago. He really was the, Sonosite was the company that brought ultrasound to the point of care. So he's joined by a group of real veterans of the point of care ultrasound industry. So although um, a new company, the people behind it have been in the industry a very long time. So the Cosmos system, which I believe that you have actually had the opportunity to, to see in uh, Warsaw, there is a, there's no other system, as I mentioned, of this size, which is comparable in terms of what it can do. So it harnesses the power of artificial intelligence and specifically deep learning with extreme miniaturization to make a, a hand carried, a brand new type of hand carried ultrasound tool. So it harnesses the, the deep learning in order to help new users as well as advanced users to scan much faster, to, so to learn quicker, to dramatically reduce the learning curve for new users, but also to provide some real everyday tools for advanced users as well. So it helps you how to achieve an optimal image, as well as to get the data out um, to quantify the ultrasound imaging. So first, the, the torso trans, the torso, which is, oh, there's someone in the waiting room, pardon me. So the torso, which is what you see on the screen here, really is the Cosmos ultrasound system. It contains all the imaging components. So the 2D, color, pulse wave, Doppler, it is the real hardware of the system. There are two versions of the Cosmos probe. The one you see on the screen, it incorporates uh, ECG as well as dig digital assaultation, which is a very um, amazing uh, technology to be able to incorporate. No other hand carried small system can have an ECG on it as well. So it's, the transducer has a smooth surface. It's very easy to clean, lightweight. And this three signal um, fusion allows you to see the ECG, the, hear the heart sounds, as well as see the 2D at once. If you choose the other transducer, the only thing missing is the ECG and digital assaultation. So you still get all the other functionality like color Doppler and pulse wave Doppler. So the, the bridge is the display, and that's the part that you visualize, obviously, the ultrasound image. And it is really uh, very easy to navigate, extremely intuitive interface. It's very much been designed for the point of care. So it's very robust. The materials that have been used are able to withstand high level cleaning with hospital grade disinfectants. The, the surface, the touch screen surface is made from Gorilla Glass, so very tough. And on the back there, you'll see what we call a reverse mouse. So when you, if you don't have a place to put the, the, the bridge down, if you need to hold it, for instance, in an emergency situation, you can still access some of the controls with the mouse on the back, things like saving images or accessing various modes. The, Bridge and the torso have been drop tested from a meter and they're covered by a five year warranty. So that's again, um, interest, industry leading um, protection for the, both the screen as well as the transducer. It's got a battery life of about two hours as well, um, but 10 hours if you put it into sleep. So you can easily use it for a whole day without needing to plug it in. So when you boot up the system, it boots up very quickly. It gives you on the screen straight away the, all the options in order to um, tune the transducer for the anatomy that you're scanning. Heart, lung, and abdomen. Of course, this is the torso transducer. So really everything between the neck and the pelvis, it can scan, it can image. 
And once you select that, all the parameters are optimized for you. I'll point out as well here, you can see on the screen, there's this learn um, option or button. When you go into the learn section, there's a whole um, a catalog of videos that you can watch that show every aspect of the ultrasound system of the cosmos, but there are plans to expand that to include more educational um, videos of perhaps instructional videos for various procedures, for instance. So that's uh, works in progress. The scanning screen, of course, you know, um, most of the real estate is taken up by the image, which is great. And all of the controls are really logically grouped there, very easy to access. And you don't have to go through various menus. So even though it's a very small system, you, it's very intuitive and easy to use, something that um, can be difficult to do in a small system. Of course, color Doppler in both uh, cardiac imaging as well as in the abdomen are included as standard, um, very nice color Doppler. And as well, which we're very excited about, spectral Doppler. So both pulse wave and continuous wave Doppler. And again, this is the only small system that is available that has pulse wave and continuous wave Doppler. In particular, continuous wave Doppler requires significant power. So for a small system, it's very difficult. It was just launched in May, so last month, and it was a real significant landmark for the company's development to, to release this. What we did was we benchmarked the, the Doppler against um, the GE and Philips at Hammersmith Hospital, and there's a paper here that's been written. They did 100 patients and showed that the Doppler was well benchmarked against the premium large size ultrasound systems. So now I'm going to run through the really exciting part of the Cosmos system, which is the artificial intelligence. So there are three artificial intelligence apps currently available on the Cosmos system. Um, they're, as I mentioned earlier, based on deep learning, which you know, mimics the way that the human brain works in processing information and data and patterns to make decisions. So the first tool is called auto labeling. And I'll just play this uh, video so you can see how it works. So when you enter the AI auto labeling function, it brings up the labels of the anatomy that you see on the screen. So this is not a fixed overlay as anatomy leaves the plane or the, the, goes out of the view, the label disappears and when new uh, when new um, anatomy comes into the screen, then the label appears. So this is a really uh, amazing technology for teaching, but also if you want to share, for instance, the information on the screen with a patient that it's labeled, you can tell them what the various structures are of the heart. I like this image because it shows when the papillary muscles come in, I mean, it even picks this up. So this shows the power of the artificial intelligence that's working on the Cosmos system. So that's the first application. The second one is called auto, auto grading. And what auto grading does is it gives you real time information, feedback about the, the quality of the image that you're acquiring. So if you see red bars that you know you need to move or press harder or, or get a, uh, go into a slightly different um, window in order to achieve the, the best view. So this is really useful for new users, but also for anyone who wants to quantify the ultrasound image, because that's when you need to make sure that you have the best information um, for the next step, which I'll, I'll show you in two more slides, which is about how the auto quantification works. So the third AI um, artificial intelligence application is called auto guidance. And auto guidance is really just like a GPS for the transducer. So a real major challenge of learning um, cardiac ultrasound is the small movements of the transducer required, as you would, you would appreciate, to achieve the best image. So th because the windows are so small and the movements required are tiny, it can be a real source of frustration when you're just not quite there, but you know that you're in the right spot. So auto guidance exactly gives you that information. The, the anatomy that you see at the top there, it will tell you if you're doing correct with a green um, heart, if you need to pan down or up or press harder, for instance. Um, so yeah, this re works really well in, in, uh, 
accelerating the learning curve.